This is another video in the first read series where I read a poem by a poet. I don't know, for the sheer joy of just reading poetry for that first experience. Not knowing anything, not knowing how this piece connects to the other works that the poet has done. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, I would write and talk about something more exciting if I knew more of the work. Um, but we all have a first experience of somebody, so that's what this is. It's that what gets you into poetry. This is from Allium, a journal of poetics and prose. This is out of Columbia College in Chicago. And this is Aidan Heung. Uh, I don't know anything about this poet, so I'll just read. I always like to look at the form whenever I look at any poem. I kind of pick these randomly. Um, so I look at this form uh, and I see lots of lines that are different lengths. It looks like standard open form, what people call free verse. Uh, I might change a mind once I read through it and see what's going on, but uh, I'll go from there. Drought. Fairly straightforward title for this. Drought. I don't know what to add about that. Perhaps it's for the poem. The summer, that summer when air raised dust to our nostrils and fire burned in the Sirocco. So I like I like the uh, line breaks in this. I think line breaks sometimes make a poem for me. Um, to create a certain sound, I think this these lines would almost feel um, like a story or fiction lines if you didn't have the breaks to them, but the breaks make it seem poetic. The summer when air related raised dust to our nostrils and fire burned in the Sirocco, driving them into thick shades of trees, so it was a hot summer. It goes with the drought image in the beginning. We could smell what was coming. Fruit violated by heat, weak long sewage, and our bodies disdained by salt and dandruff. So they can imagine what's coming, which is, you know, seems pretty clear that it's going to be this drought, this heat that comes, um, the salt, the dandruff. Decay was foraging for its prey. This, this is what they smell, I assume, this idea of decay coming in. Surrounding them, they can sense it. And if you've ever been somewhere with drought, I feel like you can get a sense of that decay coming in a little bit as it goes through. Decay was forging for its prey in the valley. The river ran like a stitch on essiccated skin. The rocks sprouted out of water, becoming hot iron, becoming that July when the texture, I like that interesting, kind of just that July that, using the that here suggests that it's, it's become something that you're going to remember this this summer where, you know, the rocks were not in the water. They were little hot irons because the sun is beating down on them and everything is kind of dying and decay is going everywhere. And the textured wind weighted us down and stuffed our lungs with cotton. This is kind of heavy weight of the hot air. And if, you ever, if you've ever been somewhere where super hot air, it does kind of like fill you up and stop you a little bit like this. This first stanza is really just just like a story. There's not a whole lot I want to jump off on in here and kind of explore too much. It, it has a nice enough sound, but it is very much like uh, it's it's a narrative. So there's not a lot of you know language and metaphor to go shooting off on here. It's really just about the drought. The elders declared no rain and prayed to the god of mountains raising a tablet beneath walnut trees. So the elders are doing this, raising, praying. A coalition of cakes placed in front, a coalition, sorry. A coalition of cakes placed in front, simple times back then. So the elders are praying and putting forth the God Mountains. We called it simple times back then. It's as if times are no longer simple now, but you got what you asked for back then. You put forward a tablet, you put forward these cakes, and the gods are going to give you rain. When the first rain fell to the chat field, the village master sat alone, smoke the color of clouds raising from his pipe, so the village master is all alone at this end. I don't know if the village master relates to these elders, perhaps it's one of these, with this kind of sitting and smoking and enjoying the joy. It seems like it's enjoying or just watching the rain fall down. Fairly straightforward um, narrative piece here. Interesting enough, it feels like a little story. You can see a whole book of little stories like this. Memories of another time when 
things were simple, as this person says, or, you know, like a long time ago, just memories of growing up in this place. So, like I said, Eden Hyung, and that's it. That's the point.